Ha! That was my Hydra School impression. Hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, that was the uh, StarCraft 2 Hydra because its movement speed was like 2.7. It's really bad. But, uh, anyways, I wanted to talk today. Uh, my last class just finished. Uh, it's so sad because it was my Chinese class. And that was probably one of the best classes I've had so far. Uh, only a freshman, so I haven't had that many classes so far at Berkeley. But it was really fun because it was four days a week, and I got to know all the people pretty well. Compared to my other classes, which are like 500, 600 people in classes, and then these huge lecture halls that just you don't meet anybody, and you have no interaction with the professor. So yeah, I'm still debating if I should take Chinese next semester. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, classes at Berkeley um, because we're signing up for classes now too, and it's really, really difficult. And uh, like last semester, or for this semester, I got waitlisted for three of my classes. I got into two of them, but one of them I didn't get into. Uh, so I had to end up taking another class um, that I just randomly chose at like the last second. Um, so yeah, that's one of the big problems with public schools. And, uh, the state of public school education is just in such a horrible state right now. In California, probably in all of the United States, too, I think. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. But, like, this just makes me a little bit regretful that I didn't apply to more private schools. Um, I mean, at least for me, private schools still would have been a lot more expensive, though. But, like, public schools are getting pretty darn expensive th themselves, so... Oh, we'll see what happens. They, they really got to re rework the structure somehow, I think. Um, and anyways, uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, I'm currently just like on the default pre-med track. Um, I haven't declared a major or figured out what I really, like if I really want to do it. Like I'm not 100% sure if I want to be pre-med, but that's just my default right now. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And yeah, I also wanted to talk about um, CSL. So right now we're playing against Davis, and something really, really sucky happened. So we got this sniper to go snipe one of their best players, TBZ. And Davis has always been us in the past, so they're really, really good. But um, he, he had this one base Colossus drop, TBP, PBT. And he was doing so well in practice, like he was killing everybody. Like, obviously not that good, but he was playing really, really well against people who were way better than him. And he was just like mid-high masters, so he's not like that good, but the build like threw off his opponents so much that it was really effective. So we go down to the Davis game, where everything works out as planned. Uh, the map that we chose for him to play on was the map that TBC was playing on, Antigua. And we did a little th a trick where we subbed one of our players out and subbed the sniper in. So we get to the game, and again, everything happens out perfectly. We were a little bit afraid that TBC would do some kind of cheese or some kind of like gas op opening. He ended up expanding, which is like the perfect opportunity for the Colossus to do damage. And so he brings the Colossus. TBC is like flustered and like. He told me after the game he was really flustered and like frustrated because he couldn't kill the Colossus. He only had a few Marines. Anyways, the Colossus got a pretty good amount of SCV kills. But then, our Protoss player just like didn't make a pylon for like a solid minute. It was really, really sad to see. Then his Warp Prism with the Colossus in it, it saw two drops coming to him, like all the way back uh, on Tbizi's side of the map, on Antigua. And he knew those were coming, and yet he still didn't block it and lost like 10, 15 probes to the, uh, to the drop. And then after that, he forgot to put all his guys back on gas, so he only had like three guys mining gas out of four gases. So he had like 1,500 minerals and like 100 gas before he realized. So it was just really disappointing and depressing, because I, I know he could have done better. And I think he did get nervous, but now we're down 0-1 against Davis, so it's a little bit unfortunate, um, especially because we had such high expectations, because his snipe build was going to be so good. Uh, and it was doing so well in practice, too. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit depressing. But uh, we're going to be playing the rest of the CSL matches against Davis on this Friday and Saturday. 
and hopefully we can pull out a win. I'm expecting it, at the very best though, to go to an ace match where I'm going to have to play TPC. And he's the player that, I, I'm sure you've seen highlight videos of him like nuking everybody or whatever, so it's a little bit difficult to play against him late game, but we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now. I think I had something else I wanted to talk about, but I forgot. So, I don't want to make this video too long, so I will peace out. Bye!